Reports of job losses and impaired income during the pandemic has laid bare the importance of having a rainy day fund. Historically, three months salary is a rule of thumb for an emergency cash safety net. That will be tough, a tough challenge for many of us at the best of times, but given what we've been through, many people will want to have something to fall back on, despite paltry savings rates. Many Brits have become acutely aware of how much they spent on out-of-home entertainment during the pandemic. Large expenses such as holidays, commuting costs and entertainment vanished during the months of lockdown, resulting in significant savings for many Brits. When social distancing restrictions ease following a COVID-19 vaccination programme, many might think twice before reverting to pre-coronavirus spending habits Ask yourself whether you truly missed all aspects of your pre-COVID entertainment expenditure and consider whether that money could be put to better use towards a rainy day pot, a deposit for a house or extra investment. The stock market crash earlier in the year was an unnerving moment and the volatility afterwards did nothing to settle my nerves. Some people may wait for calmer times to invest, but without a crystal ball, no one knows when that might be, and there is a very good chance that you will not be aware when that time comes. That increases the risk of missing out. Often, the key is to be patient with your investments, unless you're faced with a perennial underperformer. If you bought into the markets on the way down, give your investment time to work harder for you. An alternative for low risk investors or those without lump sums to spare is to drip feed your investments on a monthly basis. Regular investing, which is free at Interactive Investor, helps mitigate investment risk and smooth out the inevitable bumps in the market. You buy fewer shares when the prices are high and more when the prices are low, a process known as pound cost averaging.